Right Wing Watch has a genuinely terrifying story for us here. EPA's Pruitt hears from Bible study leader that radical environmentalism is a false religion. So, a guy named Ralph Drollinger, Drollinger, whoever you say that, is a spiritual and religious advisor for a bunch of Republicans in Congress and uh, for a bunch of people in Trump's cabinet. And what he does is he has Bible study meetings and he also gives them, you know, little religious essays for them to read. He does like these religious cliff notes in the morning and sends them over to everybody. Well, the most recent example of this said the following, quote, To think that man can alter the Earth's ecosystem when God remains omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent in the current affairs of mankind is to more than subtly espouse an ultra-hubristic secular worldview relative to the supremacy and importance of man. To allow fish to govern the construction of dams, endangered species to govern power plants, flies to govern hospitals, or kangaroo rats, what? Holmes is to miss the clear proclamation of God in Genesis. America is in the process of shifting from Christianity to the false religion of radical environmentalism. Okay, that is... Wow. Where do I even begin with this? He thinks that it's arrogant and it shows hubris for people in the country to try to not pollute everything and try to not contribute to climate change and try to do renewable energy. He thinks that's arrogant because his argument is, hey man, God's in control. If you try to micromanage what happens with the environment, I mean, that's you thinking you're God and you're supreme. You're not supreme. You're not in control. God's in control. So in other words, pollute as much as possible. Don't worry about renewable technology. Don't worry about trying to do conservation for animals, for example. Um, you just live your life and ruin everything in sight if you want in terms of the environment. And God will take control and everything will be fine. And if you try to control those things... And if you try to limit the damage of human beings being at the top of the food chain and being able to manipulate our environment, well, then you believe in, quote, the false religion of radical environmentalism. Uh, that is so deeply ignorant that it's hard to wrap your mind around. I mean, this is such a clear example of using your religion to meet a political ends. Like, the whole goal here, he's working backwards from his conclusion. His conclusion is, I believe in free market capitalism, I don't care about externalities, um, so I don't care about how much pollution there is, so I'm gonna use my religion as a justification and a pretext to allow corporations to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And this is what we've seen with this new brand of right-wing reactionary fundamentalism. And so now you have a guy like Scott Pruitt, who not only is he massively corrupt in that he was in, he lived in a condo that was owned by lobbyists, he took over $300,000 from, uh, you know, energy companies, and then he turns around and does their bidding and deregulates everything in sight. Not only is he corrupt, he's also propping up this backwards ideology in his own mind by listening to pastors who are telling him he's doing everything right and he's virtuous and he's walking the right path and he's doing God's work by deregulating everything, polluting everything, continuing to exacerbate climate change, so on and so forth. So, listen, the people who are in control right now in the U.S., they are genuine radicals. Like, this is, it's hilarious that people use the term radical in the context of left-wingers who just want, you know, like, a living wage. Like, hey, man, if you work full-time, you should make enough money to survive. Oh, you're so radical. That common-sense position is so extreme. No, these are the extremists. The extremists are the ones who are there right now. I can't imagine anything more extreme than that. 
He's saying to care about the environment and try to protect it with basic laws is a false religion of environmentalism. No, it's not a religion at all. It's just common sense. But I think they view everything as competition to their own bullshit religion. You know, this is why guys like Pat Robertson and John Hagee have endless quotes about Oh my god, look out for Lord of the Rings, look out for Teletubbies, look out for... Pat Robertson always used to talk about Dungeons and Dragons being evil. And I think they do that because they view it as competition. They view it as like, you know, any other position on any issue, whether it's a fictional book or whether it's a differing political position where you actually care about the environment. They view that as like, oh no, you're sucking all the air out of the room from my bullshit, which I'm trying to indoctrinate people with. That's the sense I get when I read this, and Scott Pruitt, and Donald Trump, and all the religious goons surrounding them are comically dumb and wrong.